What's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 8 of Sky Factory. How are you all doing today? Um, guys, uh, I screwed up the audio in the last recording. I don't know what happened to be honest with you, but I screwed it up somehow. But, uh, I'll just show you what we did. So we made this farm right here. We put one water in the middle, put grass around the outside, which we do with, uh, with grass seeds. And we get sugar cane seeds from sieving dirt over there. And uh, we also got potato seeds and carrot seeds. So um, so that's that's one thing that we did. Another thing that we did is we went over here, and um, and I set up more of more of a uh, kind of like a, a system here. So what we got here is we got cobble being broken down with two autonomous activators, a vacuum hopper bringing it over here, the gravel is going into here and getting sieved in here. And gravel is also getting over here through uh through that right there. It's coming over here and it's being placed in this and it is being broken down here, coming over here, being placed into sand, getting broken down once again, and coming over here to be sieved as uh dust, which we get redstone from, and redstone is a big thing uh for what we're gonna have to be doing soon. And, um, and yeah, and right here, all we did is these, uh, these ancient spores, they, they come from, uh, they come from, uh, from sand. You sieve sand to get these, and, um, all you really need is one, and you need to make a, um, a 3x3 three three platform like this. I think that's what it is, a 3x3, three three? yeah, 3x3 three three platform like this, and, um, just right-click the dirt. You make this out of dirt, and you right-click it, and it'll turn into mycelium, and it'll just eventually spread. And then you need four barrels. Put each barrel on there, and if you want to automate this, which I did, you need a liquid transfer node. Um, I'll just show you the crafting recipe right now. It's like this, transfer node, really simple. Um, and then you need transfer pipes going up here, being placed into each one of these barrels. And there's a glitch right now, I don't know why, but... Um, it doesn't show the witch water which is being made as you can see fluid dot witch water and um it doesn't show the water either i don't know why it's just a weird bug but um but once you have these and once you have witch water in there you get sand and you right click the barrel with the sand and it will uh it'll actually give you uh soul sand and soul sand is what we what we need over here so i sieve the soul sand and the only thing we want from soul sand is these uh is nether quartz because um because in the next episode uh we're going to be making ae um applied energistics and we need these and to make those we need flugus crystals and to make flugus crystal we need redstone surface quartz and nether quartz so that's the whole reason that we needed nether quartz from there and um but yeah that's pretty much all we did in the last episode um obviously it was long longer because we did all this stuff but like i said guys i don't know what happened but something in the recording screwed up and um i'm so sorry that you didn't get to uh, watch the full thing with me but you can just kind of copy this episode uh copy this down wherever you want and um and I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I'm going to be doing in between these episodes so that way you don't come back and you are all lost. So all I'm going to do is go over here, farm a bunch, get a bunch of potatoes because that's what I'm going to be using for food because I'm sick of using these apples, guys. Um, I really am. And um, we made a watering can. So all you have to do for this is four stone, a bowl, and a bone meal, which we have all in our inventory because we just made this one. And but it will make a empty watering can, and uh, all you have to do with the empty watering can is come over to something like this, right click it, it'll fill up, and then once you come back over here, it's basically like unlimited bone meal, only it's a little bit slower. But um, all you have to do is water the crops, and they'll eventually um grow like that. See how fast that grew, and then 
yeah, so that's pretty much it, and so that's what I'm going to be doing in between this and next episode, and another thing I'm going to be doing is going out over there and building a lava farm just like you see here, I'm going to be making that because I want to build it far away from this, um, this platform here, so that way um, it won't lag, and... Yeah, it's really laggy. You can also make one in the nether, but um, I don't feel like getting obsidian right now. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing. But even though we're going to need obsidian. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And sorry, guys, again, about the recording thing. Um, I didn't know it was happening. I had troubles with that earlier, but I thought I fixed it for a little bit. And then the bass dropped on a song, and my speakers, like, literally blew up. And, uh, your speakers would have blown up, too. So that's why I do not want to upload that episode. But, yeah, uh, missed a little bit. Uh, nothing that can't be fixed, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that's all for this episode, guys. Hope you liked it. If you have, please leave a like button, because, um... It it helps. It just shows me that you guys want to see more of these videos, and um, and I love making them. And if you've enjoyed the automatic redstone and automatic diamonds and emeralds and iron, get please once again leave a like button. And uh, and yes, yeah, so in the next episode we're going to be working on advanced energistics, which is awesome. I absolutely love that mod. It's one of my favorite mods next to um to dark craft and magical crops just because magical crops are overpowered and dark craft is also kind of overpowered in a way but that's going to wrap up this episode hope you've enjoyed and goodbye